Hi guys, welcome to uh, the Red Panda exhibit here at Woodland Park Zoo. My name is Jamie and I'm one of the keepers here uh, that takes care of Carson, our six-year-old red panda. Carson's actually five years old, but we're coming up pretty close to his birthday, so we're gonna call him six, which is about average age for a red panda. Uh, Carson's lived here since he's two, and he has kind of a curious personality. He likes to run around his exhibit. He loves to play with enrichment, boxes, hide in things, jump out. These are things that typically he does in his holding room, so it's not stuff that you'll actually see him do on exhibit. Mostly what you will see him do on his habitat is climbing up trees, sleeping, uh, foraging for grass and bamboo. He likes to forage and he really loves bamboo. So his favorite time of the day is at the end of the day when I bring him his bamboo. We grow bamboo here, especially for the red pandas. Um, red pandas would eat and be grazing on red uh, bamboo there um, the entire time that they're awake sometimes uh, which isn't long red pandas typically sleep about 19 hours a day um, so Carson is a little more energetic than most red pandas true or false red pandas snort like pigs false red pandas actually make sounds like a tweet known as twittering well, the main part of their diet is bamboo. They also seasonally will eat different things such as fruit and other leaves and flowers. And they may actually eat small birds, small mammals, eggs, or they may dig for some bugs. Um, so often you'll see, um, especially this time of year, them more on the ground digging in the um, dirt looking for bugs. Red pandas uh, were just recently discovered to have two species in their family. It was once thought that they were subspecies. Carson belongs to the species called also known as fulgens and they are found primarily in uh, parts of Asia such as Nepal, India, Bhutan, uh, Myanmar, and uh, the southern part of China. There are thought to be only about 25,000 red pandas left in the wild. That has a lot to do with habitat loss and the pet trade. They're very cute. Anybody would want them as a pet, but they actually really don't make pets. And it's one of the things that is um, reducing their numbers in the wild. True or false? Red pandas are part of the raccoon family. False. Although they used to be considered related to raccoons, researchers have now placed red pandas into their own family, Aluridae. They have no living relatives and their nearest fossil ancestors lived three to four million years ago. Some really cool things that red pandas have adapted to, they're a really ancient species. They're about four million years old and they lived when giant mammals used to live in the earth and they were very small. So they de developed something called a uh, false thumb. And this is where our thumbs would be. It's just a bone and it helps them hold things. So because they eat things like bamboo, they will grab the bamboo and pull it towards their face to eat it. Um, and this kind of allows them to stay up in the trees where it was safe for them back then. True or false? Red pandas are smaller relatives of giant pandas. False. Red pandas share a name but are not closely related to the larger black and white bears. So a lot of people think that red pandas and giant pandas are closely related because they share the same name. But actually red pandas are not really closely related to any um, species here on Earth. Their closest relatives are gonna be raccoons and skunks. But giant pandas and red pandas, because they share a, uh, the same diet of bamboo, kind of share the same name and kind of some of the same adaptations. So giant pandas also have the um, false thumbs. Conservation tips. Reduce your carbon footprint to help protect against climate change by making sustainable choices in your daily life. Thank you for joining. And if you would like to help red pandas in the wild, a great place to start is the Red Panda Network. So um, if you visit their webpage or their Facebook page or Instagram, there's uh, lots of different ways in which you can get involved in helping red pandas in the wild. Support your zoo. Woodland Park Zoo takes part in the Red Panda Species Survival Plan helping to sustain red panda populations in zoos as well as the Red Panda Network, which helps save red pandas in the wild.